From the CME Group in Chicago, I'm Larry Schover with October the 4th foreign exchange commentary. Well, two days of uh, spiking in treasury yields around the world, uh, but especially here in the U.S., pile pressure on China-related FX. Uh, obviously, uh, euro currency is going to be a lot more affected than the U.S., where growth divergence is the greatest. However, um, right now, the euro currency has not responded as poorly as most would think, down about 12 basis points on the day at one. 1157, the figure flat. Um, beyond that, another drag act anchor is uh, the skepticism over the Italian budget deficit at 2.4%. Seems like people just don't believe that and that it could go lower uh, much quicker. But that euro currency has responded, been fairly resilient today given uh, you know, the double dose of bad news on top of the euro currency. Going forward, uh, tomorrow people will be looking at yields, realizing also that China is on holiday all week. Uh, but tomorrow front and center is the U.S. Uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics report, looking for 184,000 ads, wage growth of 0.3 month on month, and an unemployment weight rate of 3.8%. How that translates into the move with the euro currency is anybody's guess right now. To shame the last five days we've saw uh, continual losses bleeding, as it were, in the futures down 138 basis points over the last five days. One month, um, only down 90 basis points. Three month basis, though, down 195 basis points. I'm Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with October the 4th foreign exchange commentary.